Hey everyone, it's Kevin, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video and check out some of my free resources below. And don't forget to check out my new program, The Empowered Eating System, you can join today. So what do I eat in a day? This seems to be one of the most popular types of YouTube videos. What do I eat in a day? What do I eat after years and years of eating disorders? For years, I ate anything and everything. Anything that excited my brain, stimulated my brain, made me feel good, and made me numb out. Now I'm a little wiser. Now I have more control over what I eat. When I was 20 years old, I wanted to eat really healthy. And it took me until my early 30s to get it right. My intention is that you learn how to eat right a lot sooner than 10 years. So what do I eat in a day? Let's get to it. All right, so I have my grocery bags here. Let's take a look at the first thing. Da -da 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 -da. It is, all right, soy milk. Now, before you call me a soy boy, let me explain. I think soy milk is a viable alternative to cow's milk. My rule is if I can buy a dairy substitute, I will, because I don't eat a lot of dairy in fact, I don't know whenever I eat dairy. I guess Greek yogurt is okay, and then the occasional ice cream splurge is okay. But this has very little sugar, it's a good source of plant-based protein, and it mixes well with my protein shake. Now, speaking of protein shakes, what kind of protein powder do I use? I'm glad you asked, because I have it right here. It is Orgain, organic protein. No, I don't have a promo code for this, but it is a very good source of plant-based protein. It has no soy, so, there you go to all the people who call me the soy boy. I mix it with my soy milk. This is vanilla. You can get chocolate too if you want. I think they have like cookies and cream or something like that, something crazy. I'm very simple. This has 21 grams of plant-based protein and a really good source of iron too. It tastes great, it mixes well. Uh, let's see what else it has. It has pea protein, chia seeds, brown rice, and fiber. So if you're afraid about not getting protein on a plant-based diet, then fear no more because you have protein powder. This is great in the evening when I don't want to have a large meal and I just want to get that additional influx of protein. You shouldn't worry too much about protein on a plant-based diet. I've made a video about that before so you can go check. It also makes a great replacement for dessert. So instead of having, I don't know, pie or cake, you have a protein shake. If that's not bougie, I don't know what it is. Okay, let's get to some food. The first thing I have here is greens. I have my broccoli florets. You just put these on the, in the steamer basket, you steam it, it tastes great. A um, lot, of, lot of good stuff and green vegetables. So you can do spinach, kale. Kale's a little bitter, so you might have to cook that a little bit or be a little more uh, creative in how you use it. You can put that in a shake or blender, but you need a really good blender. You know, you're looking at $150, $200 for something that's really gonna chop it. Because you don't want large particles of kale in your smoothie. It does not taste great. So broccoli is just a awesome vegetable to have. It's so versatile, so easy. If you have digestive issues, definitely steam it. I don't eat raw broccoli because it's just, it's too hard on the digestive tract. But any cruciferous vegetable is really good. I know a lot of people are having that rice cauliflower. So I guess that's another good way to sneak in your vegetables, just have the cauliflower rice and it's like, oh, it's a vegetable too. But cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower and broccoli are awesome additions to your diet. Any and all green vegetables are great additions to your diet and they should be a regular staple. I have a frozen meal. This is Amy's, Amy's, I love Amy's. They make really good stuff. This is, an enchilada with beans and rice, dairy-free, gluten-free. It's kind of expensive. That's the only thing I don't like about frozen meals is that frozen meals can be on the expensive side. So you can get like a $4 frozen meal. I've seen some that are seven or $8. Yeah, $8 for just one little meal and it doesn't have a lot. It's not like a massive portion. It's, you know, 500 calories or something like that. Well, I would need like two of those, you know? So it gets really expensive. I don't eat those every day but they're good once in a while and I'm just too lazy to cook. So shout out to Amy's. What other fruits and vegetables do I have? Okay, I have an orange. Oranges are awesome. I like to slice it. I don't like to peel it and try to eat it, it's too hard. So just put it on a cutting board, cut it into eight different pieces and enjoy. Great source of a lot of things. What about orange juice? I prefer the whole fruit. It's just more satisfying and you're keeping the fiber and all the nutrients. I'm not a big fan of juice in general. The only time I ever have juice is when I want to give my digestive tract a break. I might go get some, like some naked juice or um, like grape juice or like green juice or something like that. 
If I want to be really expensive, I can go to a juice bar or something like, what is that, Robex, I think, and you can get um, some really good juices there. It makes you feel healthy. I don't know how much healthier it actually makes you. Um, it's just one of those things that appears healthy. My point is have the whole fruit when possible. Okay, now we have the sweet potato. If I had to eat one food for an entire year, I would eat the sweet potato because it's just, it's so satisfying. It's vitamin A, vitamin C, fiber, potassium, everything. There's so many good things in this. Entire civilizations have been sustained on potatoes. I think Peru has 200 different types of potatoes, so it's working for them. One of my favorite meals in grad school was the sweet potato and tomato puree. Now, let me explain. That doesn't sound like an exciting meal, but sometimes I would go I don't know, 24, 36 hours without eating, and I would break that fast with the steamed sweet potato and some tomato puree. It tasted great. It was really high in carbs, and I felt so satisfied with so little. That was probably one of the only healthy things I did in grad school was my canned tomato puree and my sweet potato. It doesn't take a lot of work. It's very simple to eat and satisfying and super healthy. Why don't I get the sauce? The sauce has a lot more sodium. I'm not anti-salt, but I like to add my own salt at the very end where I'm gonna taste it the most. So the puree has very little salt. If you get something like um, a regular tomato sauce, it's gonna have tons and tons of salt. Let's look at some other vegetables here. The good old banana. The banana is a staple. This one needs about another day or two before it's ready to eat. They're cheap, good sources of carbs, easy to digest. They're really good before workout and after workout. They're not that hard on the stomach. They also make great smoothies because you can puree them. I don't think you should eat 20 bananas a day. I've seen people doing that. Not into that. I want to eat. I want to eat something other than bananas, okay? Because those peels can can rot, and then they have that that odor. So I don't like that. But one or two bananas a day, it's it's not bad. Other thing I have here is a gala apple. Gala is my favorite type of apple. Don't know why. It just is. And the peach. I don't always eat peaches. Peaches have to be soft and really ripe before I eat them, and then I remove the stone, obviously. For the apple, I like to take the apple core, push on it, and turn it into eight different slices. Or you can just eat it whole. It makes a good snack when you're on the go. And it has that crunch, it has fiber, has water, so it kind of gives you a feeling of fullness when you're not eating a lot. And if you have the opportunity and you live in the right area, you should go to an apple farm or an apple orchard and get your own apples. Okay, we're still on the fruits and vegetables. I have dark, sweet cherries. Dark sweet cherries are really good. You can also get blueberries, raspberries, mixed, ber mixed berries. The darker the better. I like cherries because they're a little sweeter. They taste great. I get a lot of frozen stuff because frozen vegetables, they keep for a long time. You don't have to worry about them rotting. If you buy the blueberries in the little plastic containers, they go bad so fast and you're not getting a lot. Whereas if you buy a one pound bag of blueberries, they can keep for a long time and it's a lot cheaper and you're not losing any nutrition because they freeze it right away. So stuff like broccoli, cherries, blueberries, I'll just get that frozen. This channel would not be possible without a Satino artist. If you want to start producing content and start your own YouTube channel, then check out the Creative Business Academy. There is a link below. And then finally, for fruits and vegetables, I have good old guacamole. I think guacamole is an easier way to get avocado, uh, plant-based fat, than just getting an avocado. My mom was going to make homemade guacamole and she bought all these avocados and on the day of the party, the avocados still hadn't ripened. She, she spent all this money on avocados and they still weren't ready. So that's the problem with avocados is that you never know when it's going to be right. So why don't you just make the store make it for you and you can have great guacamole. So guacamole mixes well with chips or uh, crackers, Triscuits are my favorite. Or if you don't want chips and crackers, you can get carrots, like baby carrots and guacamole. And speaking of carrots, I have baby carrots. Baby carrots are really convenient, they're cheap. I got this for a dollar. Okay, that's one pound. You can get five servings, whatever you consider a serving. You can get one pound of raw vegetables in your system for a dollar. Okay, no, you're not gonna turn orange. They're really crunchy, they're a great snack. If you get hungry at night, I say eat some carrots because you're not gonna get fat on these. They basically have no calories. They're gonna fill you up. They're gonna make you feel healthy. Just don't get cookies and ice cream at night. Baby carrots, one of the best inventions ever. I mentioned plant-based fats. Here's another good example, almonds, okay? 
This is almond country, so those almonds probably came from one of the orchards around here. You can get walnuts, you can get flaxseed, you can get pecans, peanuts, cashews, it really doesn't matter. If you want a variety, just get the mixed nuts. One of my favorite uh, delicacies is the macadamia nuts from Hawaii and the Brazil nuts. Although I don't know if Brazil nuts are really from Brazil, but Brazil nuts are these giant nuts. And I wish they had them right now, but the nut section is closed. So, But almonds are great, crunchy, they have fiber, plant-based fat. So if you're deficient in fat, you can have a handful of almonds and you're set. You can get roasted and salted. I like to keep my food really simple. That's why you're seeing a lot of simple things here. You know, one or two ingredients at most, no salt added. I know that sounds boring and exciting, but you want a boring diet. You don't want a super exciting diet because then you're overeating it all the time and you have these cravings and you just want to eat more. I made a video earlier this year about my experiment where I ate nothing but really tasty palatable food and it's really hard to like control the cravings because you just want more and more and it compels you to eat more. But this stuff is simple, it's satisfying, and if you do like intermittent fasting, like 18 hours, or maybe like 16 hours, you're gonna be hungry and you, you don't need something that's really exciting. Any of these foods will satisfy you. Also, do I eat any meat or dairy? Not really. I eat ice cream when it's available or when somebody's serving a dessert. Meat, the same way. If it's a high quality meat and somebody else is making it and somebody else paid for it, I'll have it. Usually it's something like salmon. I used to eat eggs, I don't even eat eggs anymore. I'm not anti-meat. If you think meat is a good addition to your diet and you have a predilection for it, go for it. Just make sure it's good quality. Don't buy really cheap meat. Don't go to fast food restaurants. Know where you're eating, know where it came from. At least do your due diligence. And it's probably worth paying nine, ten dollars a pound for it. So yes, I am mainly plant-based, probably 95%. 5% I leave open just in case somebody serves me something that is not plant-based, so I give myself a little bit of latitude. But when I go to a grocery store, everything I'm eating is like nuts, fruits, vegetables, and starches. Speaking of starches, let's get to the starches. I have good old oats. These are super cheap, that's why I, <laughs> I like them because I can buy an entire canister like that for about $3 and it makes 10 or 12 bowls. Super cheap, it has a lot of fiber, it's good for digestive health. And you can also mix it with blueberries. You can mix them with blueberries or even the cherries or the banana or any kind of fruit. You can put cinnamon on it and you can mix it with the almonds. That's a great way to start the day. If you have breakfast, it's also a good post-workout meal because you're getting all the macros. But oats are a great, form of starch. It's a healthy form of starch. It's slow digesting. It's not like eating white bread. Speaking of bread, I do eat bread. I just don't have it here with me. I'm not sure why I didn't bring it. I think it, I left it at home. But just get a whole wheat form of bread. The, bre the bread I get is Dave's Killer Bread. That's a really good brand. It might not be available where you are. Just make sure whatever you get is 100% whole wheat. Look for something that's like 20 grains or 21 grains. It's high in fiber and it has a bunch of vitamins and nutrients in it. Don't get the cheap brands. Don't get the white bread. Get something that's really hearty, really thick. Something that can hold a lot. Something that's really satisfying. So Dave's Killer Bread, I also get uh, Pacific Coast Organics. That's here in California. You might not have that outside of this region. Uh, Oro wheat bread is good. You can find that at most targets. But again, just get 100% whole wheat. Make sure it has a good variety of grains. Okay, let's take a look at other starches. This is a black bean. Black beans are great. They have tons of antioxidants, if you didn't know. I got this for 70 cents, okay? So it's super cheap. Um, good source of fiber and plant-based protein. One of my favorite meals is rice and beans. It sounds so bland and poor, and yeah, it is kind of bland and poor, but it's simple to make and it's satisfying. And you can add, you can mix it with guacamole if you want a little bit of fat in it. And then you can buy different types of beans if you want. When I talk about different types of beans, I'm talking about this, okay, Bush's beans is the, um, the baked bean. So a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, but it's not that bad. So if you just want to have something a little more exciting, you can get these. Uh, speaking of the rice, let's take a look at the rice. Here is my one pound bag of white rice. This was super cheap. This was also a dollar. Yes, I'm kind of cheap when it comes to groceries. I get so tired of spending, I don't know, $20 a day 
to feed myself and for all that binge food. Sometimes I would spend 30 or $40 on one binge haul. It just wasn't worth it anymore. So I like to eat simple foods that are cheap and they're easy to make and that I can find anywhere. I can go to any grocery store and find everything I found today. Yes, you can go to a specialty grocery store like Sprouts or Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or Wegmans if you're on the East Coast and you can find some special items. That's totally cool. You can do that. Just understand you're paying a premium. You're probably not going to be that much healthier and you don't need to do that. So if you're on a budget, you can eat for cheap. You know, beans and oats and rice, the soy milk, the frozen vegetables, the cherries are probably a little bit expensive. Protein powder is a little expensive too, but not if you get automatic shipments and then it's not that bad. Bananas, tomato puree, everything I have in here is easy to find and it's cheap. Anyway, that is more or less what I eat in a day. The only thing that's missing here is the bread. So sorry about that. You won't be able to see the bread. What do you eat in a day? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you found this video educational and entertaining. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my free resources below. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll like one of the other videos that you see on the screen. Click one of them and I'll see you there.